Hi people, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. I've been, I've been, I know, I know. Uh, way too much away from you guys. I haven't uploaded no tutorials. I've been uh, for a long time away creating a lot of stuff and working a lot with servers for my clients and everything. So I'm just trying to get back into YouTube and work and start working with the tutorials tutorials again with the videos and everything so right here I have the blender tutorial number eight this tutorial will be talking only about the spotlight how to work with the properties for changing the shadows so let's create something really quick here so I'm going to scale I'm gonna scale the X here I'm gonna pull this only to use it like a wall I'm gonna scale the Z Pull it up, and I'm gonna scale the X, the, the, the Y, the Y, my bad, the Y. And now I'm going to duplicate this, pull it to the side a little bit, I'm going to duplicate it again. So I'm gonna put it to the side here, now I'm going to duplicate it one more time, I'm going to pull it up. So as you can see, what we have here is a wall with a door. So now I'm going to create a plane so we can have something for the floor. And I'm going to scale it. So I'm going to pull this one up. There we go. So now I'm going to create some bars. Uh, bars? Yeah, we're gonna create some bars. So I'm gonna use the cylinder for this. I'm gonna scale it down. I'm gonna pull it here to the side. I'm gonna scale it a little bit more. Now I'm gonna scale the Z so we can start making it longer. And now I'm going to duplicate this at least four times. There we go. So now we have a wall, we have a door, and we have uh, a couple of bars here. So now let's create the spotlight. And for that, go to lamp and choose spot. Pull it up. This is really big. Pull it back. Let's put it to the side here. A little bit more. And now I'm going to rotate this from here and here. So from here it's supposed to look good. Okay, so now let's change the viewport to texture. So as you can see, the spotlight is right there, right there doing its job. And okay, let me change this back solid. What happened with the plane? I couldn't see the plane there. I know the plane is there, but I can't see it. Okay, anyway. Uh, oh, we got the light in here. We need to delete this one. We can't we only need the spotlight? Only that. So now let's render it. So there we go. Now we have our door with the bars and the shadows. So now, uh, let me pull this back. Where is the camera? There we go. So now I'm going to pull this over here. And I'm going to pull this over here. Now I'm going, uh, it's too far, too far. My bad, it's way too far. There we go. Now I'm going to pull it up. There we go. And now to the side. we go um, so from here let's render it once again there we go we have our door right there so now let's go let's choose the spot so we can go to the properties choose a spot and go to the lamp here 
And from here, let's put the energy like on 1.7. Uh, and let's choose <coughs> ray shadow. And let's put the soft size only to 50. Oh my God. 50, 500, my man, 500. So now let's go to the camera once again. And there we go. There is the difference. Uh, let me change the camera. I don't look, uh, I don't like how the camera is seeing that door. Okay, so now let's render it. There we go. Now that's looking way much better. Now on the properties for the spotlight, you can change a lot of stuff around. Now every time you play with the softness here, let me put this on one. So you can see the difference. Look at the shadows and the bars. They are always looking way much better. And if you could, and if you keep going, making the the bars and the samples higher. Will have better render, or well, not better render, but everything will change. The shadows will will look uh, smooth, way much more, uh, way much more. Now we gotta pull this down. It's way too high. Let's put on the one. Let's render it again. No less. Uh, Five hundred, like it was. Okay. As you can uh, see, if you keep playing around with the properties, you will get different results. Um, let's put the sample on two. Let's render it one more time. I'm gonna put this on one. See what happens. So let's render it one more time here. No, it's way too much. So I'm gonna put it on 300. There we go. Well, that's looking way much better. Well, guys, this is the, uh, a way to work with your spotlight and try making good pictures for, uh, I don't know, maybe any game that you're creating, a zombie game, a horror game, or something like that. So, that will be all for the spotlight tutorial. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. I'm creating the PRDB entertainment website so I will be uh, showing it to you guys really soon as soon as I have it on the internet and expect new videos for shooting games free the best top 10 free shooting games uh, shooting games for PC the best top 10 zombie games the best top 10 horror games and the best top 10 ground and air vehicles shooting games um oh and the best 20 uh paid shooting games uh for every console and pc this is angel from prdb entertainment guys see you guys next time on our next tutorial bye bye